Hey guys, welcome back to Rugtime Toys, your home for all things toys, collectibles, and games. Today I have Transformers Dinobot Adventures 3-pack, which I found at Kohl's, surprisingly, so we're going to go over these right now. Rugtime Toys! Alright, so as I've said uh, before, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And uh, we'll go over this really crazy Dinobot Adventures uh, Transformers Rescue Bots uh, Transformer 3-pack that I found at Kohl's. You can actually find some crazy stuff. There's even a Grimlock in here. I'll show you the difference between the two because we have an old version or a different version, I should say. We're going to grab all three out, which I've already unclipped from the package just to save time for you all. We've got Predaking here, which is like looks like a double-headed dragon. Grimlock, which is a lot of people's favorites, of course. And then this guy, I believe his name is Snarl. We'll flip the box over. Let's kind of check out what the box shows us here. I love doing that. Also, not only just showing you the review of what the toys do. There's Grimlock. There's Dinobot Snarl. All right. So I've got them all set up here. Um, I think I am going to save. Let's move these guys over here. Let's figure out who we're going to do first. So let's do Snarl first. I think we'll do Dino. I'm sorry, Predaking last. So stick with me until the end of the video to see that one because I think that one's going to be the best. So here's Snarl. You can see he's got a little hole in each hand to put some, uh, maybe a weapon in, but they don't come with weapons. Looks like he almost has a police emblem on his hood. So maybe he's like a Transformers Rescue Bot Chase. Maybe he's like a police bot or something. Uh, he almost looks like a Stegosaurus or something. You can correct me in the comments below on what kind of dinosaur you think he actually is, unless I'm right. Here's the transformation. Look at that. It's actually really easy. I love it. You just kind of pull up the tail, and there he goes. I'll show you from a couple of different angles. I always like it when these one steps are actually one step and very difficult to do. This is probably one of the easiest ones I've done before. I love his color scheme, too. This, like, gold brown and red with a little bit of black too so you can see there's his face he almost looks like a bear with some uh plates and a tail on his back there really cool here's those plates everything looks like it's built very well and uh won't be easily breakable there's his autobot logo on top all right we are done with him let's put him right here in the middle now we have Grimlock, one of everybody's favorites, one of my favorites anyways. He's got a blue eye. I'm trying to look at the different details. There's the Autobot logo. You can see his little muffler system here on the side. And then, uh, let's see, he has big feet there, so he stands very well. As you can see, most of these guys actually stand really well, so I like that. It's always more, it's never more frustrating than when you get a, a toy that just doesn't stand up very well. You almost have to fight with it. I do not like that. There's a seat. In case you can have somebody ride here's a transformation boom into a motorcycle which is awesome i don't know of any other i've, I've seen maybe one bumblebee motorcycle toy um, from a transformers rescue bot series you can actually find that in my transformers playlist that you can find on my page and i'll even link leave a uh, a card up to select at the very end of the thing but there you go his, his tires split open to kind of form the legs here then they pull back to form the, uh, the motorcycle. I would love to see one of these riding around on the road. All right, let's check these out, um, the difference. So this is the one on the in my right hand on the right side that you can find actually in a single pack. And then the one on the left is, I guess, a different variant that's only in this three pack. So you can see some of the colors are different. He's got the silver muffler on the right one, gray all on the side. I'm kind of... Uh, trying to figure out which one I like better. I, I kind of like a little bit of stuff on each one. I like all the chrome accents on both of them. And then here he is in his motorcycle form. This one has a lot more chrome in my right hand than the one on the left, but I do love the black on the one on the left. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. I think mine is the one on top, probably. Yeah, just leave it right there in the comments down there. Okay, so... Here they are, looking at them from the side, on this side. Okay, we'll put those down. We'll move on to the very end. The one we've all been waiting for, the one I've been waiting for, Predaking. Uh, so this looks like a heat wave uh, helmet right up here. He almost looks like a fire, fire rescue bot, Transformers Rescue Bot Academy. 
uh, leader or something. He's really awesome looking. I can't wait to see the transformation here in just a few minutes. Um, I like it. He has big, huge feet, as you can see again, which helps him stand up. He's got like orange, black, and gold. There's those pegs for the hands. I wish they gave out like weapons or accessories or something to stick in the hands because why do they have those pegs if they don't give you anything? It's kind of interesting. All right, there's the two heads on the back with some wings so he can obviously fly. There's the dragon heads that are on a hinge there. All right, let's try to figure out how to transform him. Uh, not this way. Nope. Um, hmm, yeah, some of these are a little easier said than done. Ah, uh, oh, I think I figured it out. Okay, so you basically just, wait, I'm still still trouble trying to get this thing up. There we go. I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> okay, I got it. There we go. There's his dinosaur form. I'm not quite sure how I got there, but look at how awesome that looks. Double-headed dragon. Now, if that's not the coolest Transformers Rescue Bot Academy toy, one-step toy, that you've ever seen, I don't know what is, because that is awesome. They all have a hinge point, so you can move the head um, right there as well as the neck. So you can kind of position it in different spots, which is really cool. And then it's got the wings. I would probably just leave it just like this transformation. Let me try to move him again just to see again what he looks like. So it almost looks like the transformation is done with the arms here. You kind of got to like move the arms in and out right here. Nope. Maybe I'm wrong. Man, I wish sometimes that these things came with instructions, but oh, okay, there you go. It's at his chest. So if you hold it and then move the feet in and out like that, there you go. And then you just move the heads however you want, but very cool. Definitely an awesome three pack. I've only seen this one time in all the stores I've ever been in. So if you find it, good luck. And uh, you've just basically won a little Transformers Rescue Bot One Step lottery ticket here. All right. So I think this will be the end of the video. Let's go ahead and just take a real good close look at all of them one more time. There's the two Grimlocks. And um, we'll move him into dino mode. Here's Predaking. That one's probably my favorite. Let me know in the comments below which one's yours. Uh, I'll leave the two cards at the end of some Transformers Rescue Bots Academy one-step toys that you can click on uh, to check out on the other video because I got some really cool ones to show. And uh, again, thanks for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit that little thumbs up button. Hit subscribe in the corner over there. Comments, all that fun stuff. And thanks for joining me again on Rogtime Toys.